Creative Locus with Nelson Karanja, sponsored by Global Oak Film Equipment. We are talking about continuous lighting today, specifically tungsten lighting. Some time ago, we started uh, teaching photography. We offer practical hands on courses in photography. To understand photography is to understand life. The first thing that God gave us is light. When he said, the moment he said, let there be light, he actually introduced photography. Why? Because photography actually means painting or writing with light. It comes from two things, photo and graphic. Tungsten lighting was there before we had a flood of LED lighting, which we feel it's softer, it's more flattering. But there's still a case to be made for tungsten lighting. People will still be going for tungsten lighting, especially where they need a lot of light intensity, where they need that extra power that you can't get from uh, your normal LEDs. Uh, and I want us to just deal with three types of tungsten lighting, because at least locally, in Kenya at least, I've seen we buy a lot of this. This particular one here is 800 watts. It's an 800 watts uh, redhead, and I just need to open here just for you. Um, this is just a you know, bandos for directing light. But actually, if you look at it in here, you have just a tungsten bulb simply inserted. You can actually move it. So this redhead actually is very popular. I know uh, we buy this a lot, a lot, especially for the filmmaker who needs that extra power of light and they don't want to depend on the LEDs. And as you can see, uh, the only challenge is that it uses a bulb and these bulbs can be very fragile. You've got to know how to take care of your bulb. Otherwise, if it burns or breaks, uh, you have no choice but to replace that. But it's a simple light to use and it, it makes your work much, much easier. Comes with this uh, bandos that you can put back in. And you can put that one on. So other than the 800 watts that we'll be looking at, the other one is 1000 watts also very bright and very strong and when it says a thousand watts that means a thousand watts it you're going to be growing from the power source so this is a consumer you can compare this with the leds one of the reasons why people prefer the leds is because they use less power but um these ones also give you something extra that you don't get from uh, the leds this also uses a bulb which if you're looking here uh, you will see it uses a bulb which also is fragile. This again, when it comes to tungsten lighting, as you can see, it's bigger. It has a compartment here for regulating a little bit of heat, but they do get hot, that is for sure. And if you look at this, also uses a bulb, much bigger bulb, 2000 watts. So like I said today, we are talking about this continuous light and we just want to see a bit of, uh, we want to work with them today and see how much power do we get from each of them in terms of lighting, the, uh, the volume of power, um, that quantity of light from each of them. Like I said before, we want to have a look at three types of lights. The 800 watts, the redhead, very popular uh, in Kenya at least. Uh, the 1000 watts and then 2000 watts. We are using a Canon Mark III. The lens on it, uh, 24 to 105 millimeter. Here we have our model for today, Eric. Hi. All right. Uh, Eric, well, we'll just be using Eric to demonstrate uh, what light we get from each of these. Okay, uh, let me put this one on now and see what light we get. If at all we have light. Okay, there we go. So that is light that is just coming from 
one eight hundred watt uh, light, <laughs> but they do get very hot very quickly. But then again, uh, you realize one of the reasons why these lights are popular, especially with filmmakers, for filming uh, like uh, when you are shooting uh, like a film, you hardly ever need to shoot like a whole hour continuous because people change uh, from one scene to the next. So those breaks are able to give you uh, a chance for your light to cool down. Uh, the second one that we are looking at is the 1000 watts. The intensity, so what you get is what you get. Uh, that is what light we have. If I put it the same distance I had this, this one is about a meter and a half from the subject, just like the other one. It's also very hot, very quickly. But as you can see uh, from uh, the image you have on the screen, you can see it gives you a lot of power. You get, uh, this is very, uh, it's very bright and it's very good for filming. We, it brings out the you know the color details of whatever subject you are dealing with here is the battle axe 2000 watts so the bigger it is you can tell uh, it has more capacity and i'm just gonna power that on so, but uh, that is 2000 watts very hot and very bright that is just one 2000 watts and you can see uh, the kind of intensity that it brings uh, on set. What we've seen here are just three kind of lights that we use in our studio uh, when we need a lot of power and we feel that sometimes LEDs don't, or at least the LEDs we have do not give us that kind of, uh, the quantity of light that we need uh, comes from that. The other thing is of course the consideration of the color temperature. Most films we do, we require that warm feeling, that you know, color temperature. And sometimes we are only able to get that from tungsten because naturally it comes uh, with that as a color temperature and therefore we don't have to worry about gels uh, just to make it um, that uh, color range. Uh, however, as we have seen, they are very bright and they cast harsh shadows. So we at times have to use some kind of diffusion at least demonstrate one of the popular spread that light uh, out uh, quite well. So we're going to pause here and assemble uh, one of uh, the, the screens that we have and then we can carry on. for that wonderful episode and look forward to being with you on the next one don't forget to subscribe please share hit that notification button so that when we upload next time you can get a notification thank you